theistic scuffles here. Well, recently our family is all abuzz with the new uh, video by Noel Plum on omniscience and a presumed uh, impossibility uh, for a being to be omniscient given um, something that was called Unknown Unknowns by Donald Rumsfeld many years ago. And I think the sense that Donald Rumsfeld was assigning to the term had a little bit more to do with the area of human cognition than divine cog cognition. And by divine I mean that which is not subject to a spatio-temporal order, any spatio-temporal order, whether our universe or any other that would have uh, spatio-temporal constrictions. So, I would like to propose a, uh, an argument for the possibility of an omniscient being. If there is a being who lacks belief, who does not have a belief, then it is possible that there is an omniscient being. Let me expand on that conditional statement. Formation of belief has to do with um, cognitive processes, um, temporal processes by which we may learn information, um, form beliefs based on information or based on reason, a reasoning process, um, reasoning that's going on um, that is strictly non-sensory or maybe that's synthetic that involves some sensory data or information um, whereby we're drawing some conclusion some conclusions given logical principles but if we if a being um, la if there is a being that lacks that uh, then there would be the possibility for an omniscient being. An omniscient being would have knowledge without beliefs. Beliefs are things that would be based in a spatio-temporal order, but if we subtract the spatio-temporal order, we could have a being which does not need any um, information from a spatio-temporal order in order to have absolute and total knowledge. So, therefore, this state of affairs with an omniscient being, with absolute and total knowledge, is possible. Thank you.